Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. And today we're going to take a look at Snot Rod, one of the delinquent road hazards. So before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So Snot Rod is a is a tuned up muscle car who is one of the delinquent road hazards that like to cause havoc along the streets and is also known to be sneezing sometimes hence his name Snot Rod and he is painted orange and is a is a 1970 Dodge Challenger I'm my guess and and was voiced by Lou Romano. In the fir in the first Cars movie, he along with Wingo, DJ, and Boost, who I who I'm not gonna pull up because I have a broken one, were were on Interstate 40, and they were the ones that tossed Mac back and forth across the interstate lane and putting him to sleep by playing their loud music like so like Songbird by Kenny G causing Lightning McQueen to slip out of his trailer and into the middle of incoming traffic. And they were seen again during the epilogue when they sped past Sheriff and Sheriff had to chase him down and they were locked in the impound lot with a parking boot on each of their front tires, on each front tire, and then, and a third time they were seen again, pay, repaving a road with Bessie, even though it didn't need repaved and, or wasn't torn up or whichever, they got, and they even got. A bit of tar right on them. And in the Cars video game, they they were challenged by Lightning McQueen to a three-lap race, and they even and were hired by Chick Hicks to rob Mac to steal Lightning's gear from his trailer. And. And they were even caught and placed in the impound lot by Lightning and Sheriff. They confessed that it wasn't their, the robbery wasn't their idea, and, st and they said that Chick Hicks had had hired them to rob Lightning's gear here to prevent Lightning from winning the Piston Cup of 2006. And in the one of the Cars book series, Deputy Mater, they sped through Radiator Springs again, and were stopped by, and eventually they were stopped by Mater, who was wearing a deputy door, and told them that the town had many complaints about them not following the town's laws, and they even, and eventually they they helped the whole town's folk. And clean, and clean up. And in and in the Cars Two episode, Tokyo Mater, they yet again sped through Radiator Springs, and Sheriff chased after them yet again. And they also appeared in the in another Cars Two episode, spinning. I mean, I mean, when. Guido was doing a spinning trick, and in, and they also appeared as playable. And each of them appeared as playable characters in the Cars 2 video game, even though they didn't appear in the actual film. 
and also, and again, in the Cars Fast as Lightning app. And that is it. So now, without any more further ado, let's get right into the review. Here we've got his engine exposed on top of his hood and his determined facial expression, which the eyes are hidden behind the engine, and the the letters SR on the front of his grill, and the headlights are hidden behind it. And on the left side, we've got the a black pinstripe, a black stripe with the word snot rod in orange and the exhaust pipes on both sides and the tuned up tires front wheels small and rear tires big and the and on the back we've got the tail lights and the black stripe and the SR letters SR and the license plate saying Snot Rod, Drag City, and on the right side, similar design but completely different. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other tuners. We've got DJ, Wingo, his, his two fellow delinquent road hazards, although I'm not going to pull up Boost because the boost that I have is broke, broken, and I wish I could get a replacement. But anyhow, we, we let's compare them to the other two. Pull up some of the other tuners. We've got Kabuto and Chisaki, and the other muscle cars such as Mario Andretti. Brent Mustangburger, Strip the King Weathers, Louie, one of my car's OCs, Firebird, another one of my car's OCs, Rod Torque Redline, Like, and Stainer, and some of the other Dodge vehicles, like Mini, who is a 1996 Caravan, and finally, Rusty and Dusty, the Rusty's brothers, who are a 1963 Dart and a 1964 A100 passenger van. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which delinquent road hazard is your favorite? Which tuner is your favorite? Which muscle car is your favorite? And which Dodge vehicle is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and consider the support by subscribing and viewing my channel. And, and not to mention, leaving a suggestion about which car of the past should I review next in the comments down as well. I would really appreciate it very much. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!